Yes, it is officially happening. I am talking about the new Jeffree Star controversy that's happening. Woo! Oh my god, there's literally a new one every week. <laughs> so guys, I have been asked to talk about this non-stop, and I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't planning on talking about this, just because I was like, you know what? I'm gamed out, Jeffree Star. Like, I have talked about you so much. <laughs> but then I thought about it some more, and I thought, no. I need to talk about this, and I want to talk about this off camera or on camera. So you know what I'm gonna do? That. So he's now came back with his makeup collection and launch that he teased in his Doing What's Right video. So we knew this was coming, and he was really making a big deal about this, that it was his August drop. And so he's been hyping this up since that Doing What's Right video. So this was the video that really pushed this palette. So you would think that this collection would be extra good. You know what? Because all eyes are now on this, so you would think that he would use this to like regain that popularity and almost trust back from a customer's point of view. Which, why does anyone buy Jeffree Star Cosmetics? Like, so I don't know about you, but from an outsider's point of view, whenever he promoted it so much in his apology video, I thought, holy shit, this is gonna be his best launch to date. Because he wouldn't talk about and hype up a product so much in a video that's gonna be viewed by so many unless he knew himself it was gonna be good. Because why would he want that controversy again? But then... As time goes on and the palette dropped, I realized that that's all he cares about, controversy, because you know why? This palette is shite. It looks shite. <laughs> it looks so bad. I honestly, I'm putting my hand on and saying this looks like the worst release he's ever done. Like, this is so tacky, so ugly. Let's get into it. So the name of it, I actually do not want to say because I'm not going to get demonetized. And that's a conversation we have to have, okay? Why can Jeffree Star promote his makeup line that is under this really sexually explicit name and he can get monetized with that video and actually the video gets pushed in the algorithm but whenever any other channel would say that word they would get immediately demonetized. Human verification, inappropriate content. You know what I mean? So, let me pull up what it looks like. So here we go, I have of course Pixelated one of the letters so YouTube can't come for me and instead we are gonna call it the Ogre palette <laughs> Sorry, it's so dumb. It's like not even funny. Sorry. Wait, first of all before I get into it I tweeted him was like what's an alternative name? I can call the mm, Palette for my new video by Jeffrey's makeup. I do not want to get demonetized lol Just an artist said I just called the Ogre palette, but that's disrespectful to Shane no, Shrek, not Shane! Why did my brain immediately say Shane? I mean, it was disrespectful to Shrek, not- Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm cancelled. Salem said, a cry for help. Grumpy Bugger said, a field of hanky panky. BB said, I saw a grip wee <laughs> Aphrodite said, grip exercise. Mary said, pom pom party. Wigglebox said, non-social distance gathering between various people palette. <laughs> Livy said, grip therapy. Alex said, level 7 hugging. <laughs> Amy said, adult sleepover. <laughs> okay, everyone is agreeing that I should call it the Ogre Palette, so we're gonna be talking about the Ogre Palette. So first of all, let's just go off of packaging. Jeffree Star has been someone who has praised himself for his high-end packaging and that he would never be a discount brand, which is funny because recently all of his products have been on discount. Times are tough. This packaging looks cheap. I am so sorry. Like, first of all, everything about this is like not appealing. Whenever you're in marketing, and because I do a lot of business things off camera, through my college and stuff, we have to really learn about color schemes and what's appealing to the eye. If I saw this, no. This looks so bad, and it looks so cheap. I don't know if you can see this, but you can tell that these letters are little 3D things, but it looks like the cheapest plastic ever. Jeffrey, you're someone who credits yourself on your brand and the quality of it. Where the fuck is the quality with this? Look at this. It looks so cheap and so bad. I'm sorry. I'm someone who does not give a shit about makeup palettes. I do not give a shit about what they look like. I did a video ages ago where I turned myself into a drag queen and I bought the cheapest palettes ever and they were still more appealing looking than this. Jeffrey, this is the thing that you were teasing. This is the thing that you made your apology video about. And you got so much backlash over that, so you would think that the backlash would be worth it if it was a good palette that you actually worked hard on. But like, look at this. It looks ugly. Also, this design is completely stolen, but we'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> Next, let's talk about how Jeffree Star targets his audience to very young kids. Young teenagers and pre-teens. 
He's promoting this ogre palette to them, and it's like most of these kids who watch this Jeffree Star don't even have credit cards, debit cards, so they would have to go to their parents, oh my god, I want you to buy me the palette. Or they're like, I want you to buy me the new Jeffree Star palette. Okay, what's it called? And I'll look it up for Christmas. It's called the, um, um, it's called the, like, that is an awkward conversation, and it's like, he is pushing this on his young audience, whether you want to say it or not. And a lot of his young audience is going to learn about this word for the first time because of him. That's not normal! You can say, oh, but he has sexual humor and stuff, but it's like so overtly pushing it on your products now. This is a grown man, people. Anyone else seeing the problem with this? I am so sorry, but if James Charles came out with a palette called the Ogre Palette, he would get attacked. Even Shane Dawson coming out with one called the Ogre Palette. But... He would get attacked. Why is Jeffrey the exception? It's like the lowest is fucking what? Zero. The lowest is what? Zero motherfuckers. Allegedly. So guys, that's my opinion on the ogre palette, but now let's talk. And so my subscribers were so opinionated on this and they were like, Adam, thank God you're finally asking. I was like, y'all, sorry, I have a list of videos to get through, my lord. So I said opinions on Jeffrey's new launch that he has been teasing since his social media break. It is being received poorly by fans and critics for its inappropriate name and how it'll be mostly young fans buying it. Cynthia said, okay, uh, I have mixed feelings. Let's be honest, I hate the guy, but also if you're a kid buying this or even watching Jeffrey, um, where are your parents? And that's another conversation. It's like, the parents are also very much so involved, in my opinion, on who their child is watching online. And that's very much with the TikTokers as well and the TikTokers influencing them. And, and, <sighs> Sarah said, young kids are not buying pallets in that price range. Their parents are. Rosie said, when is Jinky Stinky <laughs> gonna realize that no one wants him? Shakira said, isn't Jeffrey's brand to have unique and expensive packaging? Even without the name, this looks basic and cheap, literally what I was saying. I don't understand the appeal and I think the name is cringy. I actually want Mariah back up. So beautiful. Rose said, I'm not a mum nor a child, but I think this is nasty AF. Hal the Panda said, this whole thing has me, me, me written all over it. Love said, since when has Jeffrey been kid friendly? LOL never. Are people delusional? Parents, don't let your children watch him and don't let anyone buy their children an ogre palette. And then Jack responded and said, his fans have always been kids though since MySpace, hence why they don't know right from wrong. Period. Scary that Jeffrey's fucked up self has influence over them. I don't care about the ogre palette specifically, just his general patterns of behavior which teach awful values. Lyrical Mastermind 2, he said, I love you by the way, said, I've never seen young kids with a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette. 90% of his fans are older teens and adults. Is it trashy? Yes. Is it totally on brand for him? Absolutely. Am I gonna buy it? Hell no. Last thing we need is another palette full of nude shades. Not to mention, I just don't plain want to support him. Tasha said, this is cringy, even for regular Jeffree Star cringe. MJ said, I'm more offended about how cheap the packaging looks. Julia said, it's more telling how he believes that his career can recover from anything that's happened. Samantha said, I think it's massively shady that he's completely ignoring all of the controversies and acting like it's business as usual. You know what, I've called him that before, Jeffrey Business as Usual Star. Paola said, I'm not mad about the name because he talks so vulgar all the time, but it's just so poorly done, like the packaging is so bland, like he's really giving us nothing, like go girl, give us nothing. Taylee Smith said, switched up from, I'm an artist, my palettes will always be colorful and loud to, here's an overly sexualized palette of nude shades really quick i get having a product range as a brand but the timing pr nightmare ruby said i can't believe there are people who want to spend their money on it i'll lose my faith in humanity kari said i agree honestly i did notice a lot of children at his huge sephora meet and greets shira said okay name aside let's talk about the packaging it looks um how do i say this nicely kind of ugly yeah, I mean, wow, it looks so high-end. This looks so bad! Embolism said, now I feel like he's just trolling everyone. Seriously, like, isn't that so embarrassing that your palette is so ugly that people literally think you're trolling? Katrina said, it feels insulting, to be honest. Like, he assumes that he can sell us anything and we'll eat it up despite him being part of the internet drama dumpster fire. I won't be supporting his brand anymore because I don't want to support creators that broadcast how awful they are in their private life. I think now is the best time to find a new business to support. Mel said, I think this is a prime example of what it looks like when everyone around you is a yes man. And I think that is like the top tier comment. That's it. Having no criticism will lead to really bad stuff like that. XO said, is he literally serious? Children watch him. I can't even fathom how anyone can still support him. 
What's sad is that he knows he still has fans that will literally go out of their way to buy every single lunch. So he's not worried. He's still getting that coin at the end of the day. And that's what it's all about. Money. If you still support Jeffrey, you seriously need to evaluate yourself. Roll Like a Buffalo said, interesting how he decided during a time where we all have to social distance along with the fact 12 year olds will strive to buy this that the ogre palette was an amazing idea. Especially for pastel colors, like, this is why we cannot have nice things. And the last thing I'll read out is like a little discussion that's going on. So Sarah Christine said, to be honest, people can't be like, but his fans are mostly kids. This is wrong because it's his brand at the end of the day. And he shouldn't have to worry that people like kids will be out there and see something inappropriate because it's the kids' parents at the end of the day who should be monitoring what they see online. That's not on Jeffrey. And then Hal the Panda responded and said, but his fans are mostly kids and it's not always as black as white as you're trying to make it here. It really should be an equal effort on both the creator and the parents of the kids watching him. This, to be honest, is reminding me of the argument on whether or not certain things should be taught in schools or by parents. Unfortunately, there are kids out there with absent parents who will either work all the time or are just straight up neglectful. So even if the parents should be responsible for these things, there are plenty who choose not to be and there should always be ways to accommodate for that. So let me know what your opinion is on that conversation as well. I'm really curious to know. So just one last final time. Let's get this up. So guys, what's your opinion on the ogre palette? It's really ugly. Like, it's really bad. Yikes. Yikes.